Look here, Detroit. Some hot news is lighting up behind the scenes of the Lions. One of our own might be about to get back in the game, bringing that sparkle we all love so much. Watch now and come find out who is the Lion that might return to the den. And don't forget, subscribe for more explosive updates. Ladies and gentlemen, what a spectacular offseason for the Detroit Lions. According to general manager Brad Holmes, it was the best free agency we've ever had. And really, it's hard to disagree when you see names like DJ Reader, Kevin Zeitler and Carlton Davis joining. But wait, did we address the edge rusher position as expected? No, we didn't do that. And here comes the question everyone is thinking. The price was too high this offseason. Now Ian Valentinio from the 33rd team suggests a deal to improve our pass rush. Bring in Hassan Reddick from the Eagles. Just imagine, the Lions receive Reddick and the Eagles get the 61st and 164th picks. Guys, Reddick is a sack machine, over 10 in the last four years. Now the tricky part, the impact on the 2024 salary cap would be $14.2 million, and Reddick, in the last year of his contract, will want an extension. Can we strike a deal similar to DJ Reader's? Two years for $27 million seems reasonable, but is it the best in the long run? Compared to what happened in the league, this deal isn't so unbalanced. Look at the Seahawks trading a similar package for Leonard Williams from the Giants. And if we think about Brad Holmes' strategy of trading in the first round, we might even recover those picks, or even more. So, what do you think, Lions fans? Is this deal with Reddick the right move? Personally, I think there's a good chance it'll happen. It fits well with the Lions' management steal, short and not. Two expensive contracts. Now I ask you, should the Lions go all in on this deal for Reddick? Is it what we need to take the team to the next level? Leave your comments, discuss, and don't forget to engage more with our community. Let's go, Lions!